mum, James, Michael, Woody, Welsh. Um, um, I was an eight-year-old when we went, and uh, I clearly remember them at the station, Central Station, they told us that uh, they were going to bring the other brothers and sisters on the next train. Uh, me and my older brother Barry, we was going to go on the first train, and uh, we knew that wasn't true, and they wasn't going to bring a special train for them back up in here, but what can we do? We just, yeah, went along with them and where they took us, and it was down to this place that was down called Kinchula. When we were born, we were given a spirit and a soul by the Creator, but they turned around and dismantled that, or bloody, you know, sort of flogged it out of us. So we got caught up in that traumatised, st still going through. Not only, you know, I'm, most people do, but never ever had that feeling that of home and being allowed to be home again. You know, I'm waiting for the day to come. I'm still trying to find my world at the moment. It feels good when I meet the brothers from the past, from the homes and that. And, but I can't take that feeling home with me when I go home. It's, it dissolves when we split up and go each other in separate ways again. So, yeah, that's a... I'm not just the one that feels this hurt and pain now. I've got eight children and they all feel the same. And uh, something I didn't want to, I tried to protect them from it. But heal in our past, build our future. Heal in our past, give us a life. What are we worth? That's the question that we're asking. Building our future is something that everybody can do. We're trying to heal here, but we can't. We have to go back. We have to start the healing where it started, where it began in the first place. Then we'll move on, I believe.